All right, friends, let's pretend you find yourself in this situation where you have a prop or an asset that's been rotated and moved around and it's in some completely different direction or angle and you have no idea how to get it back the way it was supposed to be. You could try to line it up manually by rotating it and moving it around. Uh, unfortunately, you've reset the X form and all of the transforms are wrong. So you're basically screwed getting this thing lined up instead of trying to kind of eyeball it. And you know as well as I do, if you eyeball it, you're going to get some edges that are off and some, some areas that are not going to line up quite correctly. So let's do this actually absolutely 100%. Let's make sure the edges are perfectly lined up and let's get this thing set up. Now, the way that we're going to do this is we're actually going to use a helper and we're going to use something called tape. And what tape will allow you to do is to draw out a sort of a 2D invisible edge that is a useful utility for measuring. But we can also use this utility to snap it to the surface and be able to kind of reorient this object. Now, what I'll do is I'll look for two places on my mesh where I know that I, when I built it, I had straight lines. So, for example, somewhere along the top here where I've got some edges here. Um, what I can do is I can just drag out the tape anywhere in 2D and I'm going to turn on my vertex snaps by right clicking on my my snaps toggle, making sure I have vertex turned on and I will grab one part of the tape, drag it to one of those straight lines over here and then making sure that I'm dragging it all the way to the other end of that edge. I'm going to drop it right there and snap it to that edge. Now the cool thing about a tape is if I grab my prop and I'm going to use the select and link here at the top, I'm going to hold down the mouse button on my prop and hover it right over my, my tape. And you'll notice the box icon change. And when I do that, there's going to be a little flash and it's going to stop right click when I'm completed. And then by doing this, if I grab the other end of the tape, I'm actually able to uh, kind of move around and manipulate the geometry. And this prop is going to follow that edge perfectly on that tape. Now, what makes that kind of cool is if I right click on the move tool and I reset that tape's location over here to the zero, let me go and right click on there and then do the same thing with this end of the tape, right click here. And let's go ahead and drop the Z down there and then do the same thing here. This is going to follow along and it's gonna perfectly line up that edge with that Z axis. Now what I'll do is I'll do the exact same thing on the axes running down the Y. So I'm going to grab everything and I'm going to click the unlink selection tool. Uh, what we want to find is we want to find some that go from all the way from top to bottom along the side so we can realign that axis there. I'll turn on the snaps again and I will snap it to let's say right here at this end of the pole on this little handle piece here. Let's zoom in and check and just make sure that you've got that vert snap. Then we'll take the other end of it and we'll snap it kind of down here, but then we'll, we'll zoom in a little bit and check just to be sure, make sure that it snaps right there on the end. And you'll see that green line. And we know that this is a vertical edge that's going to be moving straight up and down the edge of the prop. Okay. So let's turn off our snaps, grab our prop, do a, another select and link because remember earlier we disconnected it. So we're going to click on the prop first and then hover over the tape. There we go. Let's go ahead and change that. If, if you're not sure, one thing I'll, I'll do is I'll, I'll kind of reframe my screen so that both props or, or both objects are showing the prop and the tape. And then you can really make sure that you click the right thing. Go ahead and drop it on there. We see that little flash. Then we know we have aligned the two points of that correctly. Let's go ahead and move over to our move tool. I'm going to turn off my snaps. I'm going to grab the bottom part of the tape here. And let's go ahead and snap it down to the zero as well along the Y. We'll do the same thing with the top. We'll move the top all the way up to the Z and then the zero as well uh, along the Y also. You can set all of it to zero, but it's going to snap, you know, the, the, the differences between the different angles. So, so we can go zero in the X if we want just to really make sure that we have everything lined up straight up and down perfectly left or right in all the different axes. So now if I look at my prop, I should see that those edges are lining up, that the tape is lined up correctly with that, that specific edge that we selected. And depending on the, you know, the, the prop that you made and the angle that it made, you should have a perfectly aligned section 
from those points. So uh, hopefully that's helpful from you. The last thing you'll do is you'll just do a deselect all, just go and unlink everything and you can delete that tape off. Uh, you can, you know, recenter your pivot. You can move your whole prop back up to the zero, 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 and then reset your X form. And now your edges should align correctly back the way that you had originally made them going straight up and down. And if you need to make any additional tweaks um, or, you know, realign it, you know, just depending on where the edges were that you used to create it, uh, you may find, you know, it needs a little little bit of tweaking, but this should get you much, much closer uh, to a correctly realigned object that you can then play with the pivot point to fix further. Hopefully that's helpful and thanks for watching.